guys welcome back to my channel my name is Adriana for anyone who is new this is a collab video that I am doing with Linda from the beauty puzzle we are going to be doing our 10 spring lip picks which of course makes me very excited because if you are already a subscriber or current viewer of mine you know I love me some lipstick um, now if you're new to my channel if you're coming from Linda's channel welcome um, please subscribe if you feel like it if not don't worry about it but always feel welcome to come back and peruse at your convenience um, just so everyone knows who if anyone doesn't know who Linda is please check out her channel she is a dear friend of mine she is extremely sweet caring um, beautiful Linda is pretty much what I aspire to be and I don't think I've told her that but if you're watching Linda you are I think you're beautiful and intelligent and you're a mom and you work hard and you play hard and your kids are beautiful and uh, she has just a very sweet soul and a great way about her you know when she talks about makeup and all of this stuff it, it's intriguing like she really draws you in so definitely go check out her channel you will not regret it i am going to start talking about my, these lippies because you guys know my videos can get long and editing is always difficult so i'm going to try them on for you also that way you can see i feel like sometimes it's easier to see them on the lips versus just a swatch especially because some of these colors are pretty similar um but I'm going to go ahead and start with some of the lighter colors. So right now I am wearing this and this is the only high end it is. Yeah. So you guys know I love me. I don't, I'm not, I don't discriminate, you know, but if something's like $80, I'm not going to get it. But this is the only high end lipstick I have. I don't have too many, um, but in this video and this is from Tarte. I believe this is, they have a new line of lipsticks out and these are the Amazonian butter lipsticks. This is in watermelon and it is just a beautiful like corally Oh, and it's so moisturizing. I hope you guys can see. My hand looks massive, right? Uh, the shine on that. But it is just absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I'm like looking in my viewfinder. And I really love this color. If you really wanted to branch into like orangey colors, like cor orange coral colors, but you're scared to go orange on your lips, like how I am, I'm trying to get over it. Um, this is a great lipstick, yeah. um, but I absolutely love it. And come on, look at this packaging. It's like the cutest little thing ever. So I have this, definitely one of my favorites. Something I've been loving pairing with it or using on its own is one of the new uh, Brilliant Shine Lip Glosses from Milani. This is in Coral Crush. It's such a generic name. Like how many times have you heard Coral Crush? But it is gorgeous. You can see there. And I'm just going to put it on over that lipstick just so you can see what I'm talking about. And that's all you need. Now... My lips aren't the smallest things in the world, <laughs> so they're kind of large and in charge. And some people would say I shouldn't wear a lot of gloss or really dark colors or really bright colors because if you have smaller lips, you want to make them bigger. If you have bigger lips, you want to make them smaller. I highlight my lips. I gloss them. If I could throw glitter on them, I would. You know, you only live once. I'm not going to follow rules. So it's a motorcycle. Um, I know this is a lot right now, like it's a bright coral and a lot of gloss on these big old lips, but I really, really love this gloss. It just has this kind of doe foot applicator, but then you can see, um, maybe there you go. So that's what it looks like. But then you could see it kind of has this dip, which just curves along your, like the natural curvature of your lips anyway, very, very nicely. And it makes it very easy. And usually when I have lip gloss, like my Revlon glosses that I love, um, I always have to dip like some several several times but I feel like this just really packs on I can just see like a nice glob of gloss right on there which sounds so unappealing but it's really nice because I don't have to keep dipping and reapplying I just do it once put it on my bottom lip and I'm good to go mm, so so nice and I really don't want to take this off but I'm gonna have to the next one I have here is a Rimmel lipstick and this is in Pink Chic. I do have another Rimmel lipstick, but it'll be the last one because it's darker. So this is Pink Chic and it's like a nudie pink, but like it looks like a nudie pink in the tube. Once you put it on your hand, you could definitely see it has way more pink. And then on my lips, it has a lot of pink. I'm not wearing any kind of lip liner. Normally I'll use Silver Lilac from Jordana. Really love that because it just adds a little bit of emphasis. Whereas right now I feel like it might be 
like canceling out the edges of my lips but i really like this lipstick i really like the moisture renew line from rimmel also there's just like it's very moisturizing <laughs> you know it's like mm, such a great description um but it is very moisturizing it's not glossy um it's not slippery it doesn't bleed outside the lines i don't need a liner with this i prefer a liner just because of the color on my skin tone i really like this color on me when i have a little bit more color on my skin like right now it kind of melds in at least from what i'm seeing in the viewfinder but um Come springtime when I'm not so ghostly pale, it's really pretty and it's a very easy pink. It's not the next color I have here is actually a NYX Butter Gloss and Peach Cobbler. I know it's not a lipstick, but it is really, really nice to use. They're pigmented, they smell delicious, and um, this is a really nice orange. Again, if you're trying to get you know into the oranges, break into that. So there you go. That is Peach Cobbler from NYX. I, again, love the smell. I love the consistency. It's not too sticky. It's not slimy. It doesn't dry out quickly. I can probably just reapply this like once or twice during the work day. I was going to say work week. During the work day, and I'm good to go. This is really, really nice. They have a bunch of different colors, but it's just so smooth. I absolutely love it. So definitely recommend the NYX Butter Glosses in any color. Uh, the new NYX Butter lipsticks are also really nice. I only have one of those. I forgot the name of it, but I really like that one. Um, yes, the next one I have is from Flower Beauty. You can get these at Walmart. This is the Drew Barrymore line. Super cute packaging. And this is in Wispy Wisteria, and it's the Lip Service Lip Butter. Now, it's this huge packaging, and look at this. Like, look at that. Come on, people. Come on. But it's a very pretty color, Wispy Wisteria. And again, this is just another color that's, um, it's like a butter lipstick almost. It's just a wash of color. So that's Wispy Wisteria. You can see um, on my lips, I do have slightly, you know, decently pigmented lips. So um, if you really wanted to cancel out color, you can use some kind of concealer or lip eraser. I know MAC has one and stuff like that. But, you know, for me, it's not that serious. But... I really, really like this. It goes on so smooth. It's just like a lip butter almost. Um, and it's nice and glossy. You can kind of see, I hope. And I really like the color. It's just fresh and pretty and kind of reminds me of like, you know, if you're eating strawberries and it's juicy. And the next color I have is a Maybelline Color Vivid. And this is in Shocking Coral. And yes, it is bright. <laughs> So there is Shocking Coral on my hand, and there it is on my lips. I wonder, like, it doesn't even look as, um, like, super neon vibrant in the viewfinder, so I'm not sure how it's going to come off for you guys. But it is really, really bright. This is not for the faint of heart. But I like the smell of these. Um, they're very creamy to apply. Again, they don't really bleed. Because they're so bright, I usually use a lip liner with something like this, and it definitely, again, looks better with a tan, on me at least. But, um... This was a lipstick I I got thinking I need to break out of the box. I really want it. Why can't I do it? You can also layer if something makes you uncomfortable and you're like, wow, that's like way too bright. You can always put it on, especially a lipstick, rub it into your lips, blot off a little bit, and then, you know, you could put something like this, um, what is this, Coral Crush from Milani, like this gloss on, and it just will kind of milk it out a little bit and mute it. So have fun, and you can always play around with it. So that is Shocking Coral from the Maybelline Color Vivids. Let's take this off. My lips are starting to hurt. The next one I have is also another, it's another NYX gloss, but it is the Glam Lip Gloss Aqua Lux, and this is in Velvet Ropes. I really, really like this. I've had this for a while. I feel like I got this in some kind of kit... I don't know. I feel like I got it as a gift or in a kit, but it has like a really long wand and similar to the Milani, it's flat, but it doesn't have a dip, but it packs enough uh, color on there. Wow, my lips are definitely hurting. And look how shiny that is. Mm -hmm. So this is something that I see the, you know, the package and I'm like, oh, it's going to be like this crazy, you know, I mean, it's a gloss. It's not going to have like all this pigment on it, but I really like it feels so good because my lips are like stinging. <laughs> but um, the Aqua Lux, they're very, very moisturizing. Super glossy. This is like super, super glossy. But that is just like, an again, another easy, easy gloss. This is something I would carry around um, 
with some of these other colors I'm about to show you some of these other lipsticks to put over them because it doesn't have so much pigment that it's going to really change the color of them but it's going to enhance it and just give me like a nice shiny lip which I really really enjoy in the spring and summer take that off unfortunately Ugh. so the next lip I have here is from CoverGirl and it's in 325 Spellbound and that's what it looks like there are people outside walking their dogs looking at me like I'm a crazy person to me this is just like the perfect like pink like berry pink but uh but i really like these cover girl lipsticks i do have a bunch of them in like the deeper colors and purples this is one of the brighter lighter ones i have again it's spellbound i recommend this line they're just they're long lasting they mix well with other colors they don't clump up on me they don't bleed um they don't stain my lips but they last a long time and they're slow to fade which is nice so you know when i'm reapplying it's just nice that i don't have to like completely reapply i could just like quickly swipe on without a mirror even so love that lipstick now let's take it off the next one i have is from the chroma line the kardashian line that i got this at ulta this is one of the joysticks lip lacquers and this is in shocking pink so that is shocking pink and as you can see it is pink the thing i really like about these is um is that they're very very pigmented but they're so creamy you know, it's not, um, it's not like one of the Lilacs. It's not really shiny. It's not matte. It is just like the perfect, perfect consistency. There it is on my hand. There it is on my lips. But I really do like it. And um, this is something I probably would use with a lip liner. I'm not using one now. And, you know, forgive me. I know it's not perfect. But, hey, I'm applying it in, like, my viewfinder. So that is another one. So this is one of the few um, Chroma Beauty products that I would recommend. I know they The last thing I have here is um, As You Want Victoria. This is from the Moisture Renew Rimmel line also. And this is a beautiful color. This is another pink. Um, it's a deep, bright pink if that makes sense so this is as you want victoria beautiful 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 color um it's not red it is definitely a pink i'm not sure how it's going to come off in the viewfinder but it does have a hint of red it leans more towards red than orange or even just like pink or anything like that but i absolutely love it again like i said before with the um what was this sh pink chic is that i love the moisture renew line it is so moisturizing it feels really nice on my lips right now because they are like out to here from like rubbing and changing my lipstick so many times but i love this color this is so these are my 10 spring lip picks um the sun has moved and now is over here so i have like this weird light but yeah these are the colors i hope you guys enjoyed i tried to make a variety of like pinks and oranges corals glosses matte finishes moisture finishes you know that kind of thing just to give you guys a nice little variety so i hope you enjoyed that um i will link linda from the beauty puzzle her channel and her specific video uh with her 10 favorite lip colors for spring i will link that all down below don't forget to check her out i guarantee you i promise you a hundred times over you will fall in love with her just like how i have and um if you're coming from linda's channel welcome thank you for staying to the end of this video i really appreciate it uh you guys are the reason why i do this i have a lot of fun interacting with you so please if you're a new subscriber let me know so i can you know say hi and we can chat follow me on instagram twitter uh, Facebook, my blog, all that good stuff. It's all linked down below. Um, and I've actually, in my, in my eyes, I've become good friends with some of my subscribers and fellow YouTubers. So I'm really excited to interact with you guys more. So don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up if you would like. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video and you guys stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.